Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our legacy challenge It's going to be a very special episode because we're aging up Evangeline and Edison. I cannot wait to see their teenage form I've been waiting for this since they were born. <laughs> really happy that you guys enjoyed the wedding Thank you so much for all your nice comments Yeah, I'm really hoping that Lamar sticks around for a while because he is an elder So I'm not sure how much more time we have with him but I will cherish these last days. I do not have a Celsius because I already had an energy drink this morning, but I made a cherry lemonade yesterday. So I'm just having some in my oat milk mug. Isn't this mug the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> Making homemade lemonade is, uh, is a hobby of mine. And this flavor is cherry made with fresh cherries. Cherries this season have been so good for some reason. Ah, oh my God, I didn't even cheers. And cheers guys, cheers to you, cheers to this video. So excited to hang out. So excited to play some Sims. Let's get into it. Alrighty, my loves. Here we are back on the legacy house. Oh my god. And we're hit with a death right as we... Okay, who was it? Who was it? You can't just... We'll figure it out soon enough, I guess. Was it Alice? Who in the world is Sigrid? And why... Oh! <gasps> no, not Sir Isaac being an elder. Oh god, we're gonna lose Stella and Lamar and Sir Isaac are all around the same time. Watch. Um, yep, it was Alice. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, man. You know, that's crazy. Halloween was only a couple of days ago. And we begged for her life via death flower. And it worked. And she came back to life. But then ended up dying anyways. Oof. That is so very sad. Poor Alice. We went through so much with her. It's kind of crazy. All right, what's up? What's everyone up to? Oh, let me get rid of all this uh, Halloween stuff, even though it's so cute. Harvest Fest is today, by the way. I don't really know what I want to do for Harvest Fest. I feel like we just celebrated Halloween. Ugh. Um. Also, Evangeline, what, what are you wearing? And for some reason, Stella, I mean, Zoe has been really into mixology lately. I catch her mixing drinks all the time. I can't believe they're gonna age up, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, speaking of that, we need to max your motor skill and your social skill because they're so close. So go ahead and do that. And then you just need to max your social. So why don't you come over here, talk to your father. Honestly, guys, kids are so boring in The Sims 4, but they are the sweetest. They are like the least work to take care of. You know, they're just, I don't know. They're just easy. There you go, my boy. There you go. Level 10. We love it. 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 Let me just update you in the tree here. Every time someone maxes a skill or completes an aspiration or just anything, I like to put it on the Plum Tree app. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, in the last video, I linked the wrong tree. There was like an extra step I had to take after saving the tree. Um, and I didn't realize I had to do that. So I posted the old tree link. So um, in the description, I will link the updated tree. It's actually updated, I promise. Cause yeah, that one's really old. I, the one that I linked was from like February or something. My mistake, my mistake. Can we max your creativity? I wonder. I know that if you practice your singing, you can max it. So why don't you come out here so you don't like bother anybody? And uh, yeah, practice your singing. And Evangeline's working on her motor. Oh, wait a minute. We can work on her motor by practicing typing for her aspiration. Yeah, I know it's almost Evangeline's birthday. I'm so sad, but also so excited. Hi, Bruce. Talk about drink making. Yeah, she, she's on a freaking a mixology kick. I don't know where that came from. Kerba. What Bepso? What Bepso? How are you doing? How's the acting life? Tell wedding story. Oh my god, how cute is that? Oh my god, I forgot it's Harvest Fest. Maybe we should invite everyone. All right, let's get a grand meal going. I'm focused on the kids' birthdays. What should we do for their birthday as well? How? Where? Why? Why does this always happen? Where is it? Okay. 
No one was even using this. It just combusted. This has to be a glitch. A very annoying one because like... That wasn't even being used. All right, well, let's just call the grand meal. I don't think there's gonna be enough for everybody, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Caleb, what happened to your hair? Ren, don't grab any. The last time you ate human food, you freaking puked. I feel like we do the same thing for Harvest Fest every single time. So, how is everybody? Luna, how are you eating with that face mask on? She's being extra cautious. What are you doing in here? You okay? Caleb, what are you- Why are you- Okay, thank you. <laughs> Manami! <laughs> Hi, Manami! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hi, Ophelia. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Rotheo. What's going on over here? Melissa. This is- Wait, this is Colby, right? <laughs> What in the world? Ren, say hi to Caleb. Our house is so big, I don't even know where the gnomes are. Holy cannoli. <laughs> Evangeline has the cutest voice ever. She matched her social by talking with Manami, so her and Manami are still really close. It looks like everyone left as well, which makes sense because it's 1230. So, I need to figure out what I want to do for their freaking birthday tomorrow. I think we should just have a joint party. Because it would be pointless to have one party and then another one right after. Let's go, Evangeline. Let's freaking go. All right, select new aspiration for you as well. Yeah, I guess social would probably be the easiest. Just having Ren supercell all of our plantalones. Lamar is still so, like on cloud nine from his wedding. Look at all of these flirty moodlets he has. <laughs> when do you have work next? Oh, in 50 minutes, you've done your programming. You're in a decent mood. You're just having a nap before work. So that's, that's cool. Oh, for your uh, aspiration, all you need to do is meet someone new in three different locations. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, we can go somewhere new and you can meet someone when we celebrate we celebrate your wife's and children's birthdays. Still don't know what we should do. We've been to the beach recently. We, we've been to the park. Wait, have we been to the park? I'm just glad I don't ever have to worry about baking a cake again. That cake box mod, clutch. I don't know why it took me so long to download it. Also, I don't think we've given Lamar his wish yet. What should we wish for? Probably a promotion, right? Hey, why aren't you at work? Go! Zoe just needs a promotion one more time. No, why are you hysterical? Get out of the bath! Oh my god. You crazy girl. Oh my god, please stop. Please. Just, um, do some yoga. Calm, calm yourself. God, I swear, if you die. I'm sorry, what do you mean wellness level three? Did Zoe not max wellness yet? I could have sworn that we did. That's suspicious. That's weird. I also want to change her name back to Compos. Zoe Hart is throwing me off big time. <laughs> you know what? It was Stella that maxed wellness, wasn't it? Oh man, I'm an idiot. I thought this whole time Zoe was a master, a master yoga person. Um, anyway, she was about to go pour herself a drink. I really don't know what's going on with her, but she's just like in it to win it with the drinks. She met someone named Tara as well. Oh, she's so, she's so social. I really would like Zoe to max her video gaming skills well. She's almost there. Also gonna max robotics, hopefully. Parenting, hopefully. We shall see. I'm so excited, guys. I get to go on vacation for my birthday in a couple of days. I'm so pumped. This is a busy week for me though because I'm like pre-filming all the videos to upload next week while I'm gone. I'm so excited guys. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Let me know in the comments if you're a Virgo. If you're a September Virgo. Because same and high five. <laughs> Look at her. She's almost maxed it. So easy. Good job, Zoe. Another maxed skill in the books. Now, let's work on your robotic skill. She's very focused, so maxing this shouldn't take too long either. She's level nine. We're just waiting until Lamar gets home so that we can celebrate. Still don't know what we're gonna do. Let's go! Let's go, Lamar! 
Startup entrepreneur or esport gamer? I think the entrepreneur is a better fit. He likes video games, but in his like free time, you know, it's his hobby. Dang, start up entrepreneur, let's go. Let's go ahead and order your wife uh, some kind of gift for her birthday. Gosh, what do you get a lady who has everything, you know? That's why I feel like flowers are nice. Oh, look, Marnie's here. Hello. Zimzay Kohaven. Zimzaikal Haman. All right, well, okay, I'm gonna, let's see what lots we have where we can go and celebrate all three of their birthdays. I placed this really cute, like, orchardy lot in Brindleton Bay that we haven't been to yet. It's a rental, so let me see if I can, let's see, this one, yes. Yeah, let's do one day. Dang, that's a lot of money for this. And I think it's still fall, right? It's not winter yet. I think there's like a pumpkin patch there and stuff. Oh yeah, Harvest Miss was just yesterday. Okay, so it fits the fall vibes that are going on right now. How are you guys doing? I hope that um, all of you that started school, I hope that it's going well. Hope it's not too horrible. I know that the first couple of weeks can be kind of hard, but I'm sending you love and good vibes always. All right, here we are. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so. Ah, yes, so this could be a wedding venue if you would like it to be, and you can like stay the night here. It's a little dance floor, bonfire pit, grill area. That's where you can get married at. There's pumpkin carving stations, pumpkins, uh, fake chickens. This was pre, <laughs> pre cottage living. Quite cute actually. I think we're gonna have a good time here. What's up here? What's this? Oh my God, why are there gold bars up here? So Lamar, let's get you over here to bake a cake. Since we have a kitchen here, I'm just gonna go ahead and make the cake. Might as well. Everyone else, I don't know. Have fun. Ooh, who grilled? Shish kebabs. When did you do that, Lamar? The heck? Who made this spaghetti then? Zoe, interesting. Gaze lovingly at new spouse, congratulate on marriage. Okay, cute. I love all these new um, interactions you get after you get married. Is it just me or is Lamar's hair like more gray than it used to be? Of course, Lamar finds the only freaking PC on the lot and wants to go to it. Look it. Everyone's dancing. What a bunch of cuties. Lamar, what are you doing? Tell outrageous story on the dance floor. Somebody call 911. Oh, go, Brent, and go, Brent, and go, go. Guys, please tell me why I click slow dance and freaking dogs and cats show up. Part of me really wants to click on a dog and see what happens, but I'm not going to. I'm going to refrain. Not the rain! Hey, 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 me every day in the mirror. Oh no, not the cursed dancing. Please. There she goes, trying to make drinks again. She blowing the horn. Everyone come over here. I wish there was like a celebrate together action for the cake so that everyone would come over, you know? There's no one, everyone's just doing their own thing. Why, come over here. All right, well, I am getting very angry. My game is being so stupid right now. Edison, what are you? What is this? Why are you still dancing? Oh my God. Okay, well this is cute. Why don't you like the fireplace? Oh, Ren is scared of fire, that's right. <laughs> All right, let's try this again, shall we? Happy birthday! Oh my God, it's so freaking bright in here. Oh, her eyes look demonic, help! <laughs> oh, like father, like daughter. Mm, my goodness. This is incredible. Quickie shabam. 
Well, you look exactly the same. All right, let's give her the gift, Lamar. Give her the flower that you got her. It's so bright in here. Oh my god. Forever stuck in my head. Okay, moment of truth. All right, I'm gonna get this table right here. Move the cake here, and hopefully, 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 this works. Hey, cha cha cha. Okie dokie. Evangeline was born first, so you get to blow it out, blow it out, make a wish. Here we go. Happiest of birthdays, cutie. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, it's definitely not as bright in here. What is happening? Oh my god. I hate this game sometimes. Hoppleborfna. What is that noise? Why is an alarm going off? I guess we're doing Edison first. Ooh, with the chicken in the background. Evangeline, move! Oh god, I'm so nervous. I am blonde! No. Oh my gosh, we haven't done this in quite some time, y'all. We haven't done a trait randomizer. Hold on. Sims 4 Legacy Challenge Trait. All right. So what we need to do is enter in Lamar and Zoe's traits um, in order to get their new traits. So if I remember correctly, Zoe is cheerful, clumsy, and not me forgetting i'm gonna have to double check and we're gonna have to come back to that i'm just gonna pick something random for now um and then we have to randomize the aspiration as well i'm just gonna pick something i'm just gonna pick something random okay 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 oh don't look at him don't look at him not yet <laughs> okay add candles Let's do it again do it again all right miss vangelines my bell Evangeline, where'd you go? Look how she lights up the sky. My belle, Evangeline. Oh my gosh, I am so excited right now. Oh, look at you, you're so cute. Okay, again, gonna randomize your as or trait and aspiration for now. Um, okay, <laughs> hold on. So. Lamar's traits are family oriented, ambitious, and geek. Zoe's traits are geek, clumsy, and creative. Okay, okay, we are doing Edison first. So his child trait was creative. Are you guys ready to see what his life is gonna be? This is the heir. This is the new heir. So his teen aspiration and his second trait this is important. This kind of forms his life, you know? God, I'm nervous. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. So, he got geek as his second trait. That geek trait is so unbelievably strong. It's crazy. It has been, it's been present this whole time. Um, teen aspiration is admired icon. Adult aspiration is academic. So he wants to go to uni. Ugh. <sighs> I was really hoping it was something gonna be something a athletic. I mean, he could join a, the sports team and stuff like that, but like, I don't know. I was just kind of hoping. Yeah, I was just kind of hoping. Okay, now let's see what what we have for Evangeline. Evangeline's child trait was geek. Okay, so <laughs> Lamar. Zoe, Evangeline, and Edison all have the geek trait. All right, let's see what Evangeline is gonna be all about, shall we? I'm equally as nervous for her as well for some reason. 
Here we go. Creative. Strangerville. We get Strangerville so out of all the aspirations. Like, are you kidding? Come on. Her and Edison have the exact same traits now. Oh, and the same teen aspiration. Okay, they really are twins, apparently. Wow. Wow. Well, let's hop into cast, shall we? Strangerville, come on. University, come on. Yeah, Sims really said, I now. hate your stinking guts, Sav. All right, not active, but Geekaroo. And then not bodybuilder, but academic. Okay. All right, Mr. Sir, let's have a look at you, shall we? It's weird. I see a perfect blend of Zoe and Lamar, right? Or am I crazy? Like, Zoe's eyes, Lamar's nose, and kind of a mixture of Lamar and Zoe's mouth. Like, I, I definitely see, I definitely see Campos and Bellamy jeans in him. Trip out. Trip out. All right, y'all, here is Edison's face all done. Um, super handsome, still really love his hair on him. Um, yeah, now, okay, I was trying to think of what I wanted to dress him in. I originally wanted to do kind of like a jock style, but I don't know if that adds up with his traits. He's creative and he's geeky and he wants Ooh. to do well in school. Ah. I mean, I guess jocks could be that way, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in a pickle here. I could just dress him in whatever right now and then ask for, like, wait for your guys' opinion in the comments. He looks good in everything, so this is going to be difficult. Man, someone stop me from giving him monochromatic outfits. <laughs> I could dress him in like a couple different styles and you guys can tell me like which style suits him best. Oh, oh. All right, guys, let me show you the outfits that I chose. So these are just some examples and whatever style you guys think suits him best, I will make more outfits like in that style. These are just like little examples I threw together just so you can get an idea what he looks like in different kinds. So here's the first one. I would say this is more like I don't know, like fashion forward, like he really cares about what he wears about and is like super trendy maybe. This one is more, I'd say, I don't want to say preppy, but it could be. I don't know how to explain this one, but I know in my mind, like, the people and the style and the trend that I'm, I was like going for. But yeah, like super simple, like expensive, like pullovers and long sleeves with like Air Force Ones. And then we have this one, which is more skater, I'd say. Um, yeah. And then this one, which is, I don't know. I don't even know how I would explain this one. It's like a cross between a skater and preppy. Maybe I should change the shoes to... Hmm. Converse? Yeah, I think I might like the Converse better. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, sweater vests and I don't know. I don't know. I know that they're all different styles. I just don't know how to explain them. And then this one, which is definitely more nerdy. Um, yeah, let me know which style you guys think looks best on him. All right, let's move on to Miss Evangeline, who is also a geek, cheerful. Wait, we never changed her... <laughs> So Evangeline oh, is going to be the exact same, a geek and creative. And then Aspiration, freaking Strangerville. Are you kidding me? Same as Felix, that's probably where she got it from. Anywho, she definitely got more of Lamar's jeans. She's absolutely beautiful. Um, let's see, watch. So here's her. And here's Lamar. You can definitely tell. Like, I don't think she looks anything like St uh, Zoe, if I'm being honest. So they are not exact in the way that they look, but they are exact in their personalities. <laughs> she should be a model or something. I'm giving them both butterish. 
we have transitioned from the V skin to using Butterish on every sim. <laughs> Can we talk about this for a second? Can we just talk about how gorgeous this sim is? <laughs> Holy cannoli. Oh, we gotta give her glasses. I almost forgot. Are you telling me I don't have them for adults, only children? Well, that doesn't make any sense. These could work. She looks so unbelievably tall as well. A whole model. It's so hard to try and figure out a sim style like right when they age up. I'm gonna kind of do the same thing that I'm doing with Edison. I'm going to give her a couple of outfits. And you guys let me know which style suits her the best. Okay, let me show you the outfits that I came up with for Evangeline. The first one we have is definitely more on the preppy side. Sweater vests, um, shirts over sweaters, turtlenecks, things like that. Um, and then the second outfit, we've got more of like a witchy vibe. So lots of black, lots of like long flowy skirts and like star patterns and moons and then and then this one is more sporty with lots of bright colors little bags vans things like that and then uh, this one is more like granola girl almost like farmers market tote bag sandals kind of like ooh. I don't know, just very chill and relaxed and plain, more neutral colors. And then this one is super over the top. Wearing all the crazy like CC that I have in my collection. Um, I don't know. I feel like if we did choose this, this style for her, then maybe we should do something that has to do with fashion. I don't know. I don't know. She could even be like a super cool painter or something like that. But yeah, those are the options for, for Evangeline. Ah, I could not be more happy with how they turned out, how they look. They're both so unbelievably gorgeous. Like, I'm so excited. I kind of feel like, unless, I don't know. I feel like since they have the same traits, that they're going to be very, very close. Like the kind of twins that like, do everything together and like are always by each other's side to the point where like it might be a problem or it might be kind of annoying to like future uh future love interests or friends or anything like that but I wanted to take in this opportunity to show you guys uh the sim that I have in mind for Edison. I think this would be the perfect gen for this. Um, Cause, okay, so on my channel, I do a lot of different challenges. And one of the challenges that I did was an eco lifestyle rags to riches. If you guys haven't watched that, it's one of my favorite LPs ever. It was so much fun to film. Um, we had a sim, her name was uh, Tony. And she made her money by juicing and she opened her own juice store and she was just, I don't know, we lived in Evergreen Harbor and we built a house from the ground up. It was so fun. She met someone named Freddie, who uh, is this little ginger boy and they had a daughter named Teddy. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vacation early and we are gonna head back home. So yeah, they had a daughter named Teddy and she is absolutely beautiful and I've I really miss that family and I'm trying to think of different ways that I can like blend my let's plays together because once a let's play ends it's like okay now what and you miss those sims so much so um I think the best way to do it is probably to like put them into a let's play that I'm still playing which in this case would be legacy so what I want to do is <laughs> I want to move in my eco lifestyle family. I want to um, add them to my legacy save file and hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, we can get Edison and Teddy together. All right, guys, here we are back in the eco lifestyle house. Talk about a freaking flashback. Holy cannoli. Uh, so this was our Sim Tony. This is who we played the entire Rags to Riches challenge with. And then this is Freddy, who, they got married, right? Yes, they did. Oh, that's right, yeah, they had a really cute wedding. So this is Freddy, her husband. They had uh, Teddy together. So Tony and Freddy mixed together makes Teddy. <laughs> oh man, she's so, so pretty. And then they adopted Mari, 
Um, their, yeah, this is their other daughter. So Mari and Tony, or, or Teddy, I'm sorry, they're both teens. I'm definitely want, gonna wanna give her some new fits, I think. Um, oh. But yeah, this is her. I think that her and Edison would make a super cute couple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save them to my library. I'm going to upload them to Legacy. Oh yeah, they also have a dog, oh my God. How could I forget? What was her dog's name again? Ain't no way I'm gonna remember on my own. Maxi, that's right. Oh. My heart, my soul. I think I'm gonna move them into Evergreen Harbor um, in my other save file as well. And I'm gonna place the same lot. We're just gonna pretend that all of this happened in the same lifetime, in the same Sims universe. I forgot to tell you, uh, Teddy's traits as well. She has the music lover trait and the proper trait, and she has the uh, musician um, aspiration. So she wants to pursue being a famous musician. And uh, since she has the proper trait, I'm thinking something along the lines of like being a composer. I forget which career path that is in The Sims, but yeah, oh my god, this lot. Look at all the money trees. Oh my god, they have a mil $1.2 million. Incredible. I honestly don't know if I uploaded this lot to my gallery, but I'm just gonna do it again. But yeah, y'all, that is going to be it for today. I hope that you are excited for the next episode of Legacy, because we are going to be playing with Edison and Evangeline as teens, and it's gonna be so much fun. I think we're gonna be celebrating Winterfest as well. Um, I kind of want to see if Edison and Teddy will meet organically, but if it takes too long, I'll probably give it a little push, but we'll see. <laughs> so please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about um, Evangeline and Edison's style. Let me know which one is your favorite. Also, join the Discord because I might run a poll in my Discord for the final say if it's like, if I can't really tell what the majority is in the comments. I will link my Discord in the description. Make sure to join. Keep an eye out for that poll. I love you guys so much. And if you would like, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oops, I hit my mic. Bye.